Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video and we got a lot to discuss. Uh, we got to get into some things. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. So Nicki Minaj continues to dominate the charts with Pink Friday too. And also she teased that the iconic Roman will be making a return. The bald head scallywag, face changer, and the pass around better watch out. So Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday 2 has now sold over 500,000 total units in the U.S. I'm like, damn, it's only been a day and it already went gold. That is insane. And then also Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday 2 officially breaks the record for the biggest debut for a female hip hop album on Payola Fi history okay um and so this is why i think nikki gotta roll out the radio the playlisting and the music videos okay because that's how you build up staying power on the charts and people can say oh queen b didn't have music videos yet but queen b had only two hits on the album renaissance nikki has way more than two hits on pink friday too and I didn't even like Break My Hole. So I didn't really care to have a music video for that. But we need a music video for everybody. Okay. That's a dance record. Okay. Um, that's a dance um, TikTok record, whatever you want to call it. And the fans are loving it. The general public is loving that record. You can't even hate on that record. That record just makes you want to dance. Um, break my hole didn't really give me that feeling. No shade. Um, it was a cute record, but I, it didn't really make me want to dance. I didn't really care for that record. Um, and cuff it was okay, but Nikki has way more hits, um, on this album than Queen B had on Renaissance. No shade. Okay. So I don't really think it's necessary to compare because Queen B, um, doesn't even interact with her fans. So, of course, she's not going to do any promo or music videos. She only comes out when she wants something. You know, when she want to sell you um, Camel Face's sweat in a bottle and call it perfume. That's when she comes out or when she wants to sell you clothes that nobody wants to wear. But Nicki Minaj interacts with her fans. She listens to her fans. And she always shows appreciation to her fans. Not only that, though. Nicki Minaj revealed that Roman has just entered to Gag City. She replied to a fan that was asking about Roman and said that we just missed him. He had already boarded his flight to, well, you know, Roman is in Gag City. And she teased Roman in Malibu um, as a track that she might release um, this coming week. Which will be part of the deluxe. Thank you, Nikki. That's what I wanted. I felt like Pink Friday 2 deserved to have Roman on it. You had Roman on Pink Friday. We need Roman to make a return. A lot of these B-words, no shade, they getting a little gassed, especially Scratch Off and Criminal B. And definitely Doja Badu. We need Roman to check them and put them in their place. That's all I wanted. No shade. Okay? Speaking of Doja Badu, Nikki puts Doja Badu on blast on Station Head. Doja was the one that turned down to be on Cowgirl, okay, which we low key discussed yesterday. Now, this is what um, Nikki had to say on Station Head. Because I don't want to laugh. Um, but yes, they said that it was a lot of different things, but I know. Um, but you know what? I didn't realize they said that I didn't that they said they don't think I like them after everything the barbs but hey barbs, go on go and then. Nikki also replied to a fan on Station Head and said she passed on it. She says she didn't think I like her. I guess our record-breaking number one wasn't proof. The barbs went hard. So basically, she's talking about 
Doja because Doja is the only rapper that went number one with Nicki Minaj, okay? Her and Ice went top five. They didn't go number one. And then on top of that, she also said the barbs went hard. So she is pointing out how Doja Cat be using the barbs, okay? Not to mention Doja Cat did diss Nicki all throughout that Scarlet album, which only sold 6K um, in per sales. But, you know, she did say in the Scarlet album that, you know, she didn't need a big feature or a new sidekick, which was false because, you know, them sales were kind of low for the Scarlet album, no shade. And then in Skull and Bones, she takes another shot at Nicki Minaj. She said, how red are those rubies? And, you know, Nicki Minaj got the song Red Ruby the Sleeves. And then in another song, she said, you need to mind your business, Helga Bataki. And Cardi B called Nicki Minaj Helga Bataki on Twitter. So I don't know if that was a coincidence, but that was very weird how Cardi B called Nicki Minaj Helga Bataki. And then Doja Cat puts that in a song. And if you know who Helga was from Hey Arnold, she was a bully. So is Doja trying to call um, Nicki Minaj a bully? And that's why she declined. And also, I feel like Doja Cat declined Nicki Minaj, which I'm not really shocked about because, like I said yesterday, Nicki declined to be on Planet Her. And then on top of that, you crowned um, Ice Spice as the princess of rap. You didn't crown Doja. Doja probably feels some type of way about that. So, and Princess Diana, she said, nowadays I'll be making them famous. She's the princess. So F who you lames is. Why did she crown Ice Spice over Doja as the princess? Doja probably feels some type of way about that. She's a Libra. Cardi B said Libras are sensitive. So, you know, Doja who looks up to Nikki, she probably feels some type of way about that. And then you declined to be on Planet Her. So she declined to be on Pink Friday too. And that's why in Falling For You, Nicki Minaj said, picture using me and the barbs and never giving back. Doja never gave anything back to Nicki Minaj after pandering to the barbs for years. Wow, Nicki tried to warn you, but I tried to tell you she was taking shots in Scarlet. Y'all didn't want to listen to me, okay? I saw right through the bald head scallywag. And I also think that Doja Cat secretly wants Nicki Minaj's spot. And that's why she wanted to be crowned the princess. Now, Cardi B is playing chess. Word on the street is Cardi B. She saw how Nicki Minaj went gold within 24 hours of releasing uh, one of the best albums of 2023. And she is going to try to do the same thing Nicki Minaj did. Now, Nicki Minaj put Super Freaky Girl on Red Ruby the Sleeves on um pink friday too and so the queen of surgery um she's gonna want to put wop and up you know her most successful singles and um bozos on her next album so she can go platinum okay because they said wop is almost diamond so that's why she would be able to go platinum if she put wop on her next album even though it's like four years old I'm sure Titanic Records will probably pull some strings. Now, she's not going to put hot garbage on there because, you know, it wasn't as successful as Whopping Up. But she might put Bozos on there because it went gold. So let me know how you guys feel about that. Um, She's trying to play chess to outsell Nicki Minaj's album. Now, Scratch Off fans, all 12 of them, are saying that Nicki Minaj liked a shady tweet about... Um, scratch off talking about that punchline where she says, picture not listening when I said you would dread that. I mean, locks ho, you a chop ho, okay? And everybody thinks that's about scratch off. And so the fans are now saying that, um, scratch off's pen, um, goes hard and that she is coming for Nicki Minaj and you're trying to egg on scratch off and scratch off ego is already big as it is. Um, I just don't see it to be beneficial for Scratch to go head to head with Nicki Minaj. And I also don't believe that Nicki outright liked a shady tweet about Scratch Off. 
But if the shoe fits, wear it. I feel like scratch off, she wants to be for Nicki Minaj to elevate her career, but it's not going to happen. And I think the scratch off fans want her to be for Nicki Minaj so that happens so she can turn into Cardi B. That's basically what it is. We don't talk about Cardi B unless it has something to do with Nicki Minaj. And that's just what it is. That's why she's not selling now because Nicki, even though she dissed her in records, outside of that, she pays her dust. Moving on to Queen B. So it was reported that Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday 2 has surpassed Queen B's renaissance as the fastest to sell 500K units by a black female artist. Really? Wow. Congratulations to Nicki Minaj. Okay, and y'all was saying how this album is a chop. I told you this album has a lot of hits on it. You guys got to open your palate. See, y'all too busy listening to this ghetto ratchet music. Um, I blame Sexy Red, no shade. That you guys cannot listen to songs that are talking about vulnerability or relationships or stuff besides sex because your palate is one dimensional. Okay. Um, even Queen B, I gave Renaissance, I believe, an eight. At first, I gave Renaissance like a six, okay, or a five. Um, because Renaissance, the first listen is not easy to digest, okay? And um Queen B was rapping on a lot of the records. Um, and it's the same thing with Nicki Minaj. She sings on a lot of the records, but Nicki Minaj has always sang. Um Queen B did not always rap. She started doing that a few years back, okay? Um, Camel Face got into her ear about doing that. You know, she did not always rap in her music, okay? She just started doing that. So that's why a lot of people prefer Queen Bee not to rap. But um, to me, Renaissance and Pink Friday 2 are both really good albums. I don't think that Renaissance is trash. I think Renaissance is a really good album. The tour looked amazing. Um, everybody's raving about the um, movie. And so, you know, congratulations to these icons. Now, there's speculation that Rihanna has a collaboration with Metro Boomin and Clown Ye. So Clown Ye and um, Ty Nicholson have um, put out a track list for their collaboration album. And there's an old song in the stash called Drunk um, that Metro Boomin kind of teased a few years ago. And he wrote a note next to the word drunk, Ni Riri, okay? Um, But that was years ago, probably when Riri was active musically. Um, I don't need a Clown Ye and Rihanna record. Okay, would be nice. I don't need it. Um, I would prefer Nikki and Rihanna, Queen B and Rihanna, um, even Future and Rihanna. Clown Ye, not necessarily something that I need in 2023. Um, but let me know how you guys feel about it. I got some hot tea on Patreon. Link would be in the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.